everybody, welcome back to the channel. Tonight I'm going to do a video on probably one of the questions I'm asked most frequently and that's the process of custom tuning your BMW uh, with MHD. I'm not going to focus on Boot Mod 3 or Ecutech. I know there's some other platforms out there for tuning your car. Uh, this is solely a video for those trying to custom tune their BMW uh, via MHD. And if you guys haven't hit that subscribe button, please do it now. Before we get into the process of the remote tuning, uh, this is my vehicle and uh, it's got a bottom mount single turbo. I'm cu uh, currently custom tuned on E60 uh, with meth. So I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of background. Um, it makes about 600 horsepower, so um, I've done the remote tuning process for the FBO stuff, uh, 93 octane, E30, E40, E50, um, what have you. So first things first, you're either going to need a MHD Wi-Fi adapter like I have right here, uh, or you can get a K plus DCAN cable. Um, I recommend either twisted tuning for that or uh, Bimmer Geeks. Uh, you're also going to need a Samsung tablet or you can use an iPhone these days uh, or another Samsung device like a phone. And I'll put a link in the description of the video uh, for the cable as well as the Wi-Fi adapter. So after you guys have the you know tablet or phone what have you um, you're gonna want to pick your custom tuner. Uh, I'm gonna use Wedge here as an example. This is who I'm tuned by. Uh, you guys can obviously pick whoever. Um, so you're first gonna come here to the tuner's website. Um, the second thing I recommend, you definitely need to make a DataZap account here. Uh, and DataZap is essentially where you're going to upload the logging files so that you and the tuner can collectively work on your logs uh, and obviously send your revisions, that kind of thing, see what's working, what isn't. So this is uh, DataZap's home page. I'm going to put a link in the description, uh, but this is what you're going to see when you uh, go to their home web page. Um, so then you're just going to hit create for your account, you're going to pick a username, you're going to pick an email, uh, and then after that it's going to prompt you to put in a password. And, uh, and then the account is set up. It's very simple to use. I just want to show you guys real quick the functionality here, kind of um, what you and your tuner are going to be looking at. So there's various things that the um, logs record. And actually, all of these little values down here, um, it's, you're going to have to make sure that you have these selected on the, uh, on the tablet or device that you're using because Data's, or I'm sorry, MHD is only going to record whatever you have selected on the tablet. So as I mentioned, I'm going to use Wedge here as the example. Um, so you see they have N54, N55, E, N55, F, B58, S55. Um, let's just use N55, E as an example. So this is the screen that you're going to see when you click on whatever um, motor you're going to choose to tune. So first you're going to put your VIN, uh, ROM is specific to each car, so this is something you can always email your tuner if you're not sure about, um, and you would select that. So the turbo setup, obviously if you're FBO with, up with you know, stock turbo, you just hit that. Uh, and then, you know, it's, this is going to be different for each motor, so really you'll know what you have, um, but this is just basically asking what the turbo setup is. And next, uh, which kind of trans you have. T-MAP sensor here. Uh, 2.5 is basically what the car is going to have. But if you're really pushing big power or you plan to, the 3.5 bar T-MAP is an essential upgrade. Uh, this is a new product, Motive, just released. So if you have that, you would select that value. And then, um, you know, if you're just doing one map, then you would pick it here. So... Uh, if we're just going to do a 93 octane map and as you can see you can order multiple maps at once um, so you could also pick you know an E30 map here as well 
Um, I would suggest if you're going to order two maps, uh, just focus on one at first and then dial the next one in. That's just my suggestion though. You can do what, whatever you want. Um, and then current modifications right here. So you just really want to enter your mod list that your tuner would need to know. Um, and then here they're going to ask for the data zap account, which uh, we went over previously. So then you just provide that link. So after you've made all the selections and you hit add to bag here, the tuner will eventually send you a base map uh, to your email address. And we're going to go over that next. So now that you've placed the order for the custom tune, you're going to go uh, to the email on your device, download the file. You got to have the MHD app obviously download it as well. Um, if you're using a Samsung or Android device, I suggest getting File Manager. It just makes everything much easier. Um, so then you would come in here, you would select Downloads, and then so you can see these are all the um, basically custom uh, maps that I've had in the past. So this is where you will find your custom map and your base map whenever you download it from your email. It's going to be um, it's going to be right here. I just want to take a quick detour here. If you remember before about the data zap uh, values that I was saying you're going to need to select in the MHD app, you're going to go here under options. And if you're not sure what to select and what not to select, I would uh, just ask your tuner that. It's going to be specific to your vehicle. So then obviously you just come in here and check the boxes next to whatever it is that you need to have being recorded while you're doing your data logs. Now that we have the base map sent to us, uh, you're going to use the K plus DCAN cable or the MHD Wi-Fi adapter. Uh, I'm going to use the Wi-Fi adapter for this example. So now that you have the cable or the Wi-Fi adapter plugged in into the port, you're going to launch the app. Uh, I'm actually using the older version of MHD still, and I'll tell you why uh, in just a second, but it's the same idea. So uh, if you were going to flash the custom map, you would just simply come to flash a custom map rather than flash an MHD map. Flash an MHD map is where you would go to flash an off-the-shelf map. So we hit flash a custom map. All your custom maps that you downloaded uh, that I mentioned before will be here. You click that, flash it, and then that's it. I'll tell you exactly why I'm still running the old version of MHD. Um, so if you notice here, the start log button is pretty pretty big and it's on the side here. It's very easy for the driver to hit when they're on the road. Um, the new app, which uh, has a green little box here to hit start and stop log, it's a lot harder when you're driving the car uh, to actually hit that. Now we're going to discuss how exactly you're going to log. Now each time you're doing a log, you're going to hit start log at that beginning part. So when you're at 2500 RPMs, 3K RPMs, start log. You mash the gas and at the end of the log, you would hit stop log. So another type that you could do, you, you stay in fourth gear, again start at 2500, 3K and then send it to redline and do not shift into fifth. Stop log. That's another one to send the tuner. But really, uh, you can do that, and then my other suggestion would be a third gear, fourth into fifth. So again, 2,500, 3K, and third. Send it through fourth, and then get as far into fifth as you can. But really, third and fourth are, are the important ones to send your tuner. If you guys have taken a bunch of logs, um, you're going to now send those back and forth with the tuner. The tuner is essentially going to send you revisions, so revi revised versions of that first base map that you got. Um, and then you guys are just going to keep going back and forth in this process. Use each time that you're uploading the um, logs that you took. So you're going to hit datazap.me. It's going to launch a browser window um, for datazap. Log in to your account. <clears throat> so uh, at this point you're going to go to upload log and if you can see that you would hit upload English CSV. It's going to launch this window. Hit browse. 
documents. And this is why I mentioned um, getting file manager before. You can just hit file manager, data logging, and then hit the log. And come down here. You can give it a title. You can select the fueling, any notes you want to give to the tuner, and then hit save. All right, so our final step here is going to be just literally copying and pasting the um, links to the log and just throwing it in an email and sending it off to your tuner. And it's just basically, like I said, it's going to be that back and forth process. Just go through that process back and forth and uh, that's basically how you're going to get your car dialed in. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, I've been asked this question a lot, so the custom tuning process is pretty seamless and easy. Um, you really just got to follow the steps I laid out uh, previously in the video and uh, be patient for the tuner to get back and forth with you. And uh, that's that's about it. What? 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 How you talk to what? Fuck my money, y'all. Come fuck money, y'all. Tons of great content coming, guys. Some really, really big turbo builds um, upcoming. So we're going to have some nice hands-on uh, inside views of that stuff. So definitely hit that subscribe button, and uh, we'll keep putting out some great content. Thanks.